you say about that performance? Yeah, they. I mean, I'm just, I'm just I'm proud of us. You know, um, shit, we did all we could. You know, we left it out there, and you know, Malcolm went down. That obviously hurt us. Um, and we played a lot of people a lot of minutes than they used to playing, but they kept going, kept going, kept going. <clears throat> and we had our chances. You know, we had our chances. Um, and there's some games that it, it, it just happens in a season. There's some games that you win that you probably shouldn't have won. There's some games that you lose that you probably should have won. And this is one of those games that we felt like we should have won the game, but um, just didn't have enough. But we had our chances. Obviously, we don't know the future of Malcolm the next few games, but Skylar, what would you say about the way he stepped in and just kind of led the team? Yeah, Sky, Sky was incredible. Uh, he really was. Um, you know, he's ever since we got him on a 10-day last year, you know, I just I just love the way he plays. You know, he plays. He's got he got smarts. He's very crafty. He's a big shot maker, you know. Um, he's just tough, a heady player, you know. Um, he gave us all he had. I mean, shoot, he goes from barely playing to 37 minutes in this game, um, in an up and down type of game. So I was proud of Sky. Um, he played amazing. Hey, Coach, how do you how do you feel about your late game execution, both at the end of, of regulation and at the end of overtime? I imagine in some respects you maybe like to get a better shot, but also like mm -hmm. you're kind of you're up against it a little bit personnel wise. Yeah, um, I was happy with you know with what we was able to do. Um, you know, of course, I would have loved a better shot at the end of the regulation. Um, but I thought we got some great looks at the end of overtime, you know, to tie it, you know. Um, but again, you know, you got guys in those situations that they usually are never in the game at that time, you know, um, of the game. So everybody that was in there did an incredible job, man. You know, they gave us a chance in this game. And, you know, I got no complaints at all whatsoever about you know, what happened in this game. We've also we've asked you a lot about Jeremy recently, just about kind of the the role that he's playing, kind of having to extend himself tonight. Obviously, a phenomenal mm -hmm. performance keeps you guys in this game and almost won it for you. Yeah, yeah, he did. I mean, Jeremy was man, he was there on both sides of the ball too. We we depended on him to you know to really guard uh, a lot of their players tonight. He had to guard Herder some. He had to guard Harrison some. Keegan. I mean, he just he put them on everybody. It's a bonus at the end. So, um, and then you have to play through him, you know. Um, so you try not to wear him out too much. I have to throw him the ball every time. But uh, we was just very short in numbers, man, you know. And he just, he, he always steps up, you know, to the plate. You know, Mom, you're asking, uh, you did play uh, Chris a few minutes in the first half. I know he only played a couple games this season. Uh, and he got a chance, you know, to play against his brother, uh, mm -hmm. What was the thought process going in there? Just let him get a feel of the game, or just the fact that he was going to get a chance to play against his twin brother? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously we got guys that just you know we we we're so injured, you know. Um, and Chris is a guy that you know we believe in, and we have a high hopes for him and our future here. And it was just his turn, you know. Um, and it just so happened that he was playing obviously against his brother. So of course I I'm a coach that got a heart. You know, and I, I, I wanted that to be a special moment for him and his family. So getting him out there, um, and he, he played some positive minutes for us, which he always will um, because he's just he's a smart and good player like that. But it was good to see him get out there and get some minutes, you know, in this game. And I'm sure, you know, um, he'll be playing a lot more uh, throughout the rest of the season, I'm sure. Coach, if, could you talk about the effort of DeAndre tonight, particularly in that fourth quarter? Had, uh, hit a couple huge jumpers for you guys. Yeah. Um, you know, it seems like when, when you ever get the ball to him, he was able to, to do something mm -hmm. tonight. Yeah, I thought DA was good um, all night. I mean, he's, you know, he, he had a tough job, you know, with Sabonis the whole time. And Sabonis is really the hub of their offense. And, you know, you, you got to be on a swivel out there when you're playing against him. And I thought DA did a really good job um, against him today. And then he had to, you know, we're still trying to find ways to best use him and get him the ball in that pocket where he's really, really good at. And he made some really, really big shots and big plays for us. 